Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about topspin. And I want to show you a different technique, not a technique that everybody should use, but a different technique that if you're struggling to get heavy topspin and really affect the ball, if you're struggling to create the wonderful paradox where the faster you swing at the ball, the more the ball goes in, then this is probably the solution for you. Now, when we make the stroke, there's a pretty standard take back. We have the unit turn, the weight loads onto the right side of the body, the left arm comes across the body. And then depending on whether it's the uh, modern forehand or the next gen forehand, we have the racket in this kind of position here. And the common denominator of both of those take backs, modern and next gen, is that the racket head is substantially above the hand and the elbow is going back in a kind of a straight line. But there's also a different way. It's not a new way, it's been with us for a long time. Because years ago, Ivan Lendl, who had by far the best forehand in the world, took the racket back in a different way. And for example, in today's game, Karen Hatchinoff and uh, Francis Tiafo, which I'll put on screen here, they actually take the racket back in the same way as Lendl all those years ago. And it's very, very different. What they do is they take the racket back with the elbow above the hand, the racket below the hand, and the racket strings are inverted. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, the way they actually do it is that position here. And now let's look at the differences, maybe from this direction. So we have the modern forehand of Federer, to the racket above the hand, and the racket pointing up, and the strings are just slightly turned in the direction that I want the ball to go. And then we have the next gen forehand, it curious, etc. And now the elbow's a little higher and the racket's pointing straight, but still the racket is pointing in the direction, it's going to turn in the direction that I want the ball to go. And then we have TFO and Lendl, and the elbow comes back above the hand, the racket goes below the hand, and now the racket face, the side that's going to hit the ball, is pointing directly away from the contact area. So how would this take back benefit recreational players? How would it benefit you? Now, with the normal take back, then the swing path through the ball can be either flat or with light topspin or with excessive and heavy topspin. And we have to make the change, and it has to be a pretty conscious one, just prior to or during contact with the ball. And this is an area where we really should not be thinking. Now, the pro players that you see on TV, they're making that change because they've hit so many millions of balls. But if you're not hitting tennis balls that often, even if you're playing a high level, the result is very often that you get a kind of light topspin that affects the ball a little bit, but not the kind of swerving controlled ball that you see on the professional tour. But with the take back of TFO and Lendl and some others, then you don't have to think about anything because the flat swing is almost impossible and the topspin swing is inevitable. Let me show you the difference if I go into this direction here. So I have the normal swing here and I just swing through and I'm gonna swing through on a pretty clean line through here. Now I raise the elbow above the racket head and I invert the racket, pointing the racket behind me. It's a very unnatural position for me. But now it's almost impossible for me to make a straight swing pass. What I have to do from here is as I snap the racket around, I inevitably will make excessive topspin on the ball. I don't have to change anything. I actually have to really consciously change anything not to hit heavy topspin. So if you're a player who naturally hits topspin, don't think about doing this, don't change it. But if you're having trouble getting real topspin in your game, topspin that really affects the ball, or if you find that on big points or under pressure, your forehand breaks down a little bit and you, you maybe have a tendency to slice or push or lob because you don't really trust hitting a powerful solid drive, then have a look at the technique of Lendl, TFO, Hatchinoff and some others. Remember, the simple references are that now the elbow goes back above the racket, not the racket above the hand. The elbow goes back above the racket and now turn the racket so the face of the racket that's going to hit the uh, ball is actually facing away from it. Let's have a look from this direction. Elbow high, racket away, and then swing. Now this technique is not for everybody, but with this technique, you will get super heavy topspin and a very fast ball. I'd love to know how it works if you experiment with this. You know I like your feedback, and I try to reply to every single comment. 
And if you like our ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. We've got the One Minute Serve Solution, Forehand Solution and Volley Solution online or available in paperback now. We produce a detailed breakdown of the biomechanics and the anatomy of the stroke and also then the super simple solutions that are easy to apply because we have great illustrations making it simple and easy to follow. And maybe I can help you more with your game. We also provide one-to-one -one online coaching. We're working with players in over 25 countries of all ages and levels all over the world. It's a truly unique service where we make personalized video lessons after doing one-to-one -one consultations and video analysis. For more information, email us or have a look at the website below. So to get real topspin on your forehand, to create the wonderful paradox where the faster you swing, the more the ball goes in. Look at TFO's technique. Take the elbow back high and the racket goes inverted and then don't think of anything, just swing with full speed and you'll see that you get enormous topspin and enormous power. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.